Hello and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. This is episode 5. At the end of the last episode I realised that I wasn't producing anything like enough iron for the rate I'm using it up at. Down here at the bottom, the assembly machines and the red science production are eating it up much faster than I'm making it. So, job for today is to um, carry on from where I was in the first episode and build up even more um, iron mining over here and then probably quite a lot more iron smelt. I have to fit that in somewhere. It occurs to me that this um, area here where I'm building up the uh, the belts might be, a, might be going to be a bit in the way. I could always move that further down I suppose, um, but we'll see how it goes first. Uh, I might be able to squeeze at least another couple of rows of um, of, of furnaces in, in in the middle here, uh, just to the west of this um, what was this Bobmonium ore patch. So without further ado, let's get on with it. See what I can do. So I haven't automated um, electric mining drill production yet, and given that I'm going to be doing quite a lot of mining during the course of the game, I think that might be a good thing to do first. It's going to be a bit of a delay on getting the iron running, of course, and it's going to be another load on it. But let's see what we need to, to produce electric mining drills. I think it's going to be, yes, gears, plates, and uh, basic circuits. That's not too bad. So I can fit that in down here. And I know, I'm aware there's going to be lots more types of uh, mining drills that I'm going to want to build later. So I'll leave plenty of space over here to the, uh, to the east for me to put those in later. But for now, I just need cogs and mining drills, basic mining drills. And both of those run off iron and um, and basic circuits, as, as discussed. Some under, underground belts, run through here, split the iron off, and the belts, and then of course we need the inserters to pass them in and out, and the handy box to put the finished ones in. I think more than a stack of those is going to be excessive, so I'll just start there for now. And then we put the power in, like so. This, of course, is going to put even more strain on the iron production, but I'm going to, but it should alleviate things a bit later once I can get some miners up and running. So, how many I've got here at the moment? One, two, three, four, five, six, thirteen in total. Although two of them aren't running, so it's about ten, and they are actually all getting, getting their um, resources used at the moment. So I am using it literally as fast as I can dig it out of the ground. So I think I'm going to need to at least double that. Ideally, I want to bring another twenty drills up to put along here and make two, two more full rows, um, and then see how that goes. I could do with faster belts in here as well, really, because that clearly isn't using all... Not, not all of the furnaces are being used, so which means the iron ore isn't coming in quickly enough. Well, that's a good start. I'll go. I'll head, head back up and start building. I can grab them from, well, about, about this far away anyway. So it's not too much running around to try and get the next load. I'm going to put some more in on the top row as well, uh, just because, well, I might, I might as well. It means I might as well use up as much of the um, ore patch as I can. If I put another pole in there, I can then get rid of this row of them. Except no, I can't, because I need the one here. No. Of course, it doesn't quite reach. There we go, that'll do. There and there. And everything's running again happily. Okay, let's get some more miners for the other side of that belt. And this just goes to show how bad my iron shortage is at the moment. So the next thing I think is going to be to build some more ore crushers. Uh, which I can't because I don't have any stone bricks and or enough iron plates. Okay, let's get some more stone bricks. We still got all this stuff being built. Even if I have to run up and down the, uh, even if I have to run up and down the belts to get it. Right, let's try that again. Still not enough. Oh, it's only, I do actually need stones. Of course, it's one of those things where I need to um, build up the burnout versions before I can build the um, before I can build up the normal electric ones. Bit of this iron. <laughs> one. Okay. More iron. No, more stone bricks as well. Good. Right, that's three, three stone crushers being built. I'm going to pull up this ammunition factory, I think, because it's not really working for me there. <laughs> I am going to have to replace it quite quickly because the young. I'm going to need to keep the um. Keep the turrets all, all armed and, and, red, and uh, firing, of course. So let's see, what am I managing at the moment with this? It's got the ore's getting down this far, but not so doing one, two, six, seven on either side. So if I move that a bit further down, one, and start from the bottom here, one, six, seven, I can have up to here, and that gives me quite a lot more space to put in all the other things I need. So let's um, get rid of these. I can't wait to get better electrical poles, I really can't. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 
another belt here to bring in more resources. Oh, we have seven. Great. Now, of course, I'm going to need lots and lots of um, inserters. Oh, I've got 62 already. Well, I, I don't even need to go and pick up any more. Okay, so up here we need... And then the same on the other side. And finally another belt to bring out the, uh, the actual iron. Okay. And then power. Still got some of these left, happily. So, uh, you're right, one there, one there, one there. So then I need a, another splitter here. That. There's one there. Need another stream of um, crushed ore there. So I'll put three of these. I guess I'll have to put them here. It's getting a bit tight now, but it's not a lot of choice. But it's, there is still room to run a belt along here and in there. Uh, oh yeah, I can't actually put them right next to each other like that, can I? So like that. Or inserters. And then from up here we learned that after five, one, two, three, four, five, we just bring it out to put it on the other side of the belt. Like that. This is a little bit cramped, uh, but it will work. At least it would work if I hadn't run out of power poles. Power? Power. Uh, I'm going to have to use an underground belt for this, aren't I? <laughs> that feels like a bit of a mess, but oh well. Uh, oh, once again, I'm going to need a... That's handy. <laughs> I'm going to need a splitter here to pull out the um, the crushed stone. No, that one uh, on the other side. There we go. I think that should work. Where do I put the crushed stone from here? Okay, so if I bring this over here, up under there, and then up here, join in there. Hopefully there won't be too. No, there shouldn't be too much. Between those, I should be able to deal with that I think because what it's about a third of a it's a third of a belt coming off here and a third of a belt coming off here so that should be all right problem is there's just no buffer on the end after this one so this gets stuck quite easily although that said there's a, a full row of oh could this have been eight? <laughs> oh no no it's because it, no it's not because these are full let's try putting in some more uh, furnaces why are these not running so I'll put these somewhere around there we go. Now I can bring uh, this under here, over here, put a series of splitters in here, then make that say priority left, so that should eventually be full. That should be priority left as well. No, right. no that doesn't matter. i do the same with this one. How are we doing? These ones haven't got inserters, that's why it's not working properly. <laughs> there we go, that'll help. That's hor horrific. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Let's do this properly. Bring that down there and that there. Because this is only going to be on the right hand side. This is only going to be on the left hand side. Then I can join these with a splitter and have one full row of iron coming out. This should be a second full row of iron. So I'll bring that across here. That can come down. Alright, let's bring it into this one. Into this lane. Then I run down here with it and then we have a backup lane that we can try and fill up the uh, main lane from when that becomes full. Okay, well I've run out of those. <laughs> Let's uh, shove in a splitter here like that and prioritise the uh, left lane. Yes. That should help things quite a lot. Right, at the moment I now seem to have plenty of um, iron available because I'm not doing any research. Is there any research I should be doing? Yes, I think warehouses are going to be very useful at some point fairly soon. Oh wait, no, I wanted grenades, didn't I, for clearing out trees. Let's see if I can, should be able to do those now. Yeah, let's get grenades, because then I can clear out some of this wooded area a bit, bit more easily without everyone who's watching these videos falling asleep while I go around chopping trees down. Up here, the um, crushed stone isn't being used up quickly enough, and to be honest, I don't have anything like enough stone bricks coming out. So let's um, get some more stone so I can build some more furnaces. I don't, need, I don't actually need that many, but never mind. Oh, I'm going to need some more belts and things, aren't I? Um, belts are down to 34, so let's get some more of those. Right. Because I'm going to need to get these at uh, this uh, crushed stone up a bit further. Uh, what's the least disgusting way to do this? <laughs> okay, that'll have to do. Okay, okay. So, 
that's probably more than enough. I'd rather have too many than too few. Oh, I need to get cold tool. That was the other thing I was going to worry about. I haven't got long inserters yet, have I? No. I've got filter inserters, but not long. I have got long inserters. Oh, of course. This is, um, that's interesting. Right, okay, so I can make long inserters. Uh, good. Let's see. I can put in one here. That'll keep that one running. And I've run out of inserters. <laughs> Let's go and get some more of those. It's a shame the inserter construction is so far away. This is going to be a bit of a run. Why is my copper stopped? I'll have a look at that on the way back up again. I scoop up all of that. <laughs> there we go. That's what, 26 inserters. That's not a huge number. I'm going to put in another box here and have this inserters un unload into there. Um, but only up to about that many. Right, okay, basic circuits have stopped. That's going to be because that copper seems to have stopped. Yes, copper's running out. Have I just dug through all of the patch that I put the copper mines? No, I've... Oh, I've filled the box up with... <laughs> right, let's just do that for now. In fact, let's make an iron chest instead to put that in, because it'll last a bit longer. And that is a bit of a problem, to be honest. <laughs> I should probably pipe that all the way round and up here. But it's not that far. Yeah, that's something. Let's do that. Make things a bit less terrible. Uh, so I put do, 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 that over there. And no, stop. Oh dear. Right. <laughs> Try that again with less rubbish. Um, again, crushed stone. Going out on the left side. Over here. There. That can now come up here. Oh, conveniently, it's on the other side of the belt. Uh, actually, that's not so convenient because it just means it'll be prioritised on when, it, when we get to the merge point here. But, yeah, never mind. I think there's probably not going to be so much crushed stone coming out of the copper factory that it's going to be a problem. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so where was I? Ah, yes. So, my plan was checking a splitter here and a splitter here. And this can have coal going up like that. This one can have coal coming here like that. Then we get more of these long handled like that. Excellent. Let's get that one. Let's keep it consistent. And then short handled inserters. Those two need to be the other way around. There we go. Now back to short handle. I don't think it actually matters for these ones, but it looks weird if you don't. And then inputs like that, and power like that. That should now, hopefully, rip through this crushed stone faster than we can produce it, and give me lots and lots of stone bricks to play with into the bargain. Or is this one not running? Okay, it is. Good. Down here, and production's going well. Making lots of, lots of getting used up for these belts, of course, but that's, that's okay. Feature, not a bug. Okay, we don't have enough... Um, stone coming through here. Uh, enough um, ore mining going on, that's the one. Let's see if we can get any more uh, miners yet. So copper production's back up and running, that's good. And that is, yep, yeah, running as fast as it needs to. Down here, 50. Excellent. <clears throat> that's more than enough. So now if we come back up here, that, and that. More power poles, of course. Nearly everything running. Right, so this bottom this bottom row is working. Yeah, it looks flat, pretty much flat out. We've got well, those are occasional yellow lights. That's just because it can't output it fast enough. This belt looks pretty full. This one's not quite full, so it could be a little more efficient, perhaps. I don't know. I think to get this any better, I'd have to have um, separate belts feeding onto feeding into splitters. Maybe that's worth doing. Yeah, let's give it a try. So, for each one of these, it's that. Hmm, there's a lot more going on the right side of these belts, because obviously we've got two, in each case we've got two of them feeding onto the right side and one to the left. I could f tweak that, like this. Yeah, that seems okay. So we've got all three of these feeding onto the left side, one of these feeding onto the left, and one of these feeding onto the left, so that's five, which is about as close to half as you get. Except it's not. <laughs> it's not working. Because I don't have to do that then. There we go, that balance it a little better. 
well, whatever else. We've got a full row going in here. What are you missing? You're just not getting, okay. So you're not getting any resources to. You're getting. This isn't running flat out. So I have to put in another two on this one. This. Good, yes, that now feels like a full belt going in. I suppose we've got congestion on the way out as well. Although these can hold quite a lot. They get up to about 100 before they actually fill up. Um, so there's probably going to be quite a lot of buffer held in these um, uh, in the furnaces. So we can just, yeah, I think that's probably all right. It might be worth running and doing another row of belts actually along uh, at miners along here at that. Now I've got, since I've got lots of them, I can run this up here. Oh, that's why this is rubbish. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> um, but anyway, what I was going to do is run this all the way around here and then put it in as a low priority up here. So we prioritise on the input, prioritise on the left hand side. So that will use these ones by choice, but we'll use these as sort of an emergency backup as it were. And I think I need to split that so it goes over. No, it's not less, but more miners. That way I can just leave it for longer and I'll just keep working. Oh! Oh! God, where'd they come from? Why did it not tell me before? <laughs> no! Uh, what? How do they... How did they get... How did they get there? What on earth? Uh, they must have come in from the bottom, right? Right! Okay, uh, at least I was nearby. <laughs> Has anything else been damaged? No, they just came storming up... Must have just come storming up here and attacked this stuff, because this is what's spewing out all the pollution. Whew! I'm very glad I was nearby. Quite a bit of attacking going on up here. Those walls are damaged, so that means I need more. More turrets in up up around here, and I need a lot more defences in around the bottom as well, very very clearly. Don't have any more turrets, let's build some of those. Three. Great. Iron. At least I've got lots of iron now for this sort of thing. Um, let's put in the power for these mining drills. Oh, oh. They're going to pick up some bobmonium. That's not good. Uh, cr no. Or where do I find bobmonium? Or that's bobmonium. Or right, that goes out to the right. Take that. That can go down here, beneath there, not to there. Right. So I don't need to worry about that it's being picked up by mistake. Now along here, I need power for these drills. Like that. Great. Now I can just leave, just leave that. And until that ore patch runs out. I don't need to worry about iron anymore, I hope. Uh, the worry is that that ore patch is going to run out eventually, and by then I need to have managed to get out and get iron from somewhere else. At the moment, all I'm researching, as far as military goes, is grenades. In fact, I'm not researching anything. So all I've got is steel armour and grenades and, well, I suppose I can make piercing rounds. So they should be reasonably dangerous. But they're not really going to get me through a, an enemy base. I'm going to struggle with that. Also, I'm not building any ammunition at the moment, so I need to do that. Let's get some more walls up. Oh, we've got lots and lots of walls now. That shouldn't surprise me. It's nice to have nonetheless. Um, if I run this down from here, and then I guess across here is probably the best place to put it. Okay, I think the biters are coming around the bottom of the lake here, because they're drawn towards that pollution. So if I put in some turrets here, like that, I think that should give me a reasonable level of cover. And I need to run the ammunition train down here as well, of course. But I also need to rebuild the system that's building ammunition. So, having demolished it in order to make more iron production, it's a bit of a pain. Uh, so I need to get it to there. I can build it in just along here, I guess. This is going to use a lot of iron up, but you need defences, what can I do? The natives are restless and um, aren't going to take, please stop eating my stuff for an answer. Eight, I think nine, because then I can do the nice thing with the um, power poles and the inserters. Where I go, like this. The nice thing in question is apparently running out of inserters. Okay, if I run the ammunition back up here, then I can eventually join it back onto the belt I have from before. At least, if I don't run out of belts. There it is. Is that on the right side? That's not on the right side of the belt. There we go. Okay, so... Weaponry, I think. It's going to... Heavy armour? Yeah, just in case I get involved in the fighting. 
What's a good? What's going to be good for getting rid of the, um, the biters at this point? Possibly just dropping turrets and throwing ammunition into them. What does turrets two get me? Turrets mark two, great. And that requires steel. I'm not ready for start to start building steel yet. I don't think I need to get more more iron coming in first. I, I'm just going to use it all up too quickly. Get weapon shooting speed. That would help a bit. So the big problem I'm going to run into here, the uh, enemies, the the biters, are, the biter bases are too tough to run into and take out with a machine gun generally. So even unless I've got something heavy like like heavy even the heavy armor probably won't be enough because they're going to have worms in there. I can I can drop turrets nearby and throw ammunition into them. That's probably going to be the most effective way of doing it. Um, but even turrets are going to get eaten up to an extent. Uh, so I'm probably best off going for weapon shooting speed ammunition uh, better more more powerful ammunition that sort of thing to start with so, so that I can make my turrets a bit more effective and they'll be able to eat the um, biter bases a bit more easily so at the moment that's a lot of biters <clears throat> at the moment I'm concerned about running out of iron basically and that means I need to get up to these thorium that's another new one um, I need to get out to these crotinium or Jiva light or patches. That's quite big. 1.2 million. That's good. Um, to get out to there, I, there's two possibilities really. I can either build a wall out from here to cover it, um, and one another wall down here to protect from this one, and then drop miners in here, deal with all the stuff, pipe it in across here. E relatively straightforward. Um, or I can try and wipe these two nests out and then build a bigger empire, perhaps a wall coming in from here, all the way across to, from this lake to this lake. But that's a big wall, and it's going to need defending. Um, and perhaps I can fit, close off this top part as well. If I, but then I don't want to close it off with with biters inside, of course. The other question is, which is it of uh, crotinium or jivalite, which gets me the more iron, because that's what I need at the moment. Uh, so let's find out. Jivalite gets me two iron, so it's the jivalite I want to go for, which is this one. Okay, um, I'm under attack. Yikes, they actually got through and started damaging the turrets. Uh, okay, apparently I need more turrets up on the north side as well. Let, let's go and do that, because I don't want I don't want them to get in and start eating things. And I'm out of repair packs again. Like lots. Let's get rid of some of this crushed stone as well while I'm uh, doing stuff. I mean, I know I'm not supposed to put it there, but I think I've got enough of those machines now making it that it's okay. Right, they are attacking these dragon teeth which suggests they're actually having an effect and slowing them down a bit. So I think they are worth having. So I think that's a good point to end the episode. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to start taking the fight out to the biters and try and have a, have a go at clearing out those nests out there, see how well I can get on with some actual proper uh, combat on their territory. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope it's been a, a, a fun episode. I feel like I've done lots of building and improving of the iron supplies, so hopefully that'll keep me running throughout the next, episode, next uh, few episodes um, while I get other things up and running. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.